Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the 17th video of this new series that is the JavaScript and ServiceNow or the ServiceNow and JavaScript, you could say. So basically we are clearing our JavaScript fundamental concept uh, inside of this series. Okay, we are learning about uh, data types, operators, uh, switch statement, uh, for loop, while loop, uh, if statement, and like class objects, all the data, arrays all those data structure thing also right so we are clearing the whole javascript fundamental knowledge so that anyone who wants to who doesn't have any programming language experience learning first time programming language they can get help from this video from this series also if you want to become a service now developer as you know i have told you many times that i'm going to start my next series which is the service now development so there you will need this knowledge of like for an example array for loop how these things are working on a basic level so let's start our today's class in the last class uh, in class 11 we have learned a new concept we have started that is the array right and I have explained you what is array and how array can store different type of values, which of different data types, how you can access different elements of array, right? And I have also shown you with our existing one of the example that how you can pass array instead of passing just the numbers, okay? So it was a very helpful video. So I hope you have cleared your knowledge by watching the video about the basic understanding of array and how it works. So if you missed the video, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link here on your screen, right? So today we are going to continue our learning with array and today we will see what are the different methods of array available that we can use to do a lot more interesting stuff, right? And make sure you watch the full video. We are going to discuss all the methods and then we would uh, do a practical example like we did every every videos, right? Just to tell you that I'm also doing a coding exercise where I'm giving you problems where I also I'm doing the solution in a separate video and that video is only for the members. So if you want to join, then you can join my channel Tech with Free with a minimum level of subscription to get access with it. Okay. All right. So now we would understand different methods of array. So I will just make it comment first quickly all right so it would be class 12 we are going to learn different array methods okay now before i show you uh, different methods just to uh, quickly tell you i have already explained to you that in array you can store different type of uh, values right so it can be integer string or the boolean anything so I'll quickly show you uh, so maybe let uh, test array where we are going to put different things so first maybe i'll put tech with free as a string uh, then i will put a number maybe 100 and then i'll put a true true or false values and then we can put here and also we can put expressions so for an example i can put like uh, maybe 2000 minus uh, 1000 like this and this will all work so i'll show you so test array, so test array, I'm going to print it. So maybe zero, let's see what it comes. Okay, so I need to print it in the console. So console.log and then in the bracket, I need to do it. Yes. So here you can see take with rates coming for uh, two. We can see it's coming as true, zero, one, two. And let's see the final one. That's the expression. An expression always returns a value, so it should return 1000. So you can put an expression also here. Okay, you can also even call a function here that we would check later. So make sure you watch the full video again. All right, so let's quickly uh, see different functions of uh, array or different methods of array. So I will do what I will just copy this array. We are already now know about functions. So methods are nothing but it's another name of function so you can call function or methods so basically we use the term methods to mention that for particular you know like they, these are the methods of array these are the methods of function of array so you can say in the both way right so it's up, up to you but both works in the same way so now when you declare an array like this phone company and then what you can do is that you can do first i will show you that how you can uh, you already know how we can get the length right i have shown you in the last video so uh, length we can directly check length here so i will just again do a console.log phone company dot length so to show you this 
and I'm going to refresh it. You see the length is four. One, two, three, four. Let me uh, make it comment all the above things. All right. Uh, this is one of the properties. This is not a function, you could say, not a method, but it's the properties of the. You can see it's also showing property if I hover over the mouse. So we would understand later that how these properties and methods are uh, being there in a class or things like that, right? So uh, that is fine. Now I will show you a function. So console.log, console.log, this time I'm going to use the function called toString. So if I want to convert the array, the whole array into string, so I'll just dot to string this is the method i'm going to use and method means functions and you declare functions with a uh, open parenthesis and closing parenthesis we have already discussed this in our function class okay so i'll save it and i'll refresh it you can see now it is converting the whole array previously it was in array it was displayed in array but it is now displayed in uh, in string value so we can convert with the help of to string and this is a very very important method guys and i would and we are going to use it a lot in service now development trust me okay this true string method so true string is convert strings right so here in array it can see you can see it converts the all the arrays in string also we will see for each method this is another method uh, that is very very important but we will learn it later in the series next i will show you a very important method which is the pop method okay so the pop method do does what the pop method remove the last element of the array so i will just copy this console.log stuff so that i don't need to type it again and again so i will just type pop so dot pop you can see now if i save it so the last element of this array is the one plus so if i just refresh it you can see it is removing one plus now it is now there is a thing it is showing the the output of phone company dot pop is coming as one plus because this phone company dot this pop function returns whichever the value it removes so it removes the one plus so now i will sh i will print the array again so i'll just copy it and again paste and i'll just print the array phone company to show you that what it works so you can see now the array is samsung apple and vivo so it removes the last element which was one plus and now you know the pop function returns a value returns whichever the uh, you know whichever the element that it removes so here it removes one plus so if i print it it removes it shows the one plus so you can store it also this value one plus in a variable also so you can just like write like this for an example let uh, remove element like this and then equal and then you can just you know phone company dot pop you can do that and if you print console.log here remove elements so you will get again the same thing so just refresh it and you can see you are getting the one plus from 352 line right this is very important you can store the value of pop right now you need to practice all these things in your visual studio or any coding uh, infrastructure and then you need to utilize it uh, in the way you want okay that's how you will uh, get a good grab in programming the pop method uh, you understand it removes the last element now i will show you another method which removes the first element so uh, the name of the method is so it's so a phone company dot i will do it's called shift method so actually it shifts the first value so that's it i all i need to define is shift and then i will print the array again so right now it is samsung apple and vivo oneplus is removed so it should be apple and vivo right so if i just console.log and phone company if i print it let's see what happens you see now it is apple and vivo it removes the element first element and also you can print it or you can store it in a variable like this it stores the remove elements okay that's the shift now in the same way the opposite now if i want to add an element in the first position of the array then i can simply do it by phone company dot unshift so this is a method called unshift so here i need to mention uh, the name of the element that i want to enter here so again i will put samsung and then i'll put comma and here again i'm going to print console dot log and it would print phone company so let's see what happens so now you can see it is updated samsung has been added so this is a very very important method guys uh, by using which 
you can do a certain work right now another method the opposite of pop we have used the pop method to remove the last element of the array now if i want to add an element at the last so we are going to use push method so the push method it's simply going to add something at the end so maybe i'm going to add oppo this time so and again i'm going to print console.log and the phone company right so here if i refresh it you see now oppo has been added so these are the functions is very very important guys push unshift shift pop and these are the things you are going to use a lot in programming okay now these are all very common methods of array there are so many other methods available i'll give you some link where you can check all the other methods maybe from w3 school but uh, these are the all important methods that's you are going to need actually uh, very often okay now we will do uh, some practical work but remember there are so many other methods that are available also you can go and check it out i'll gonna give some link okay so that you can practice also in your uh, visual studio now uh, let's do something maybe mm -mm, okay i'm gonna take this calculate h function only this function this part so this is a function where uh, if you give a birth here so it is returning the current uh, age of a person right so maybe i what i want to do is that i want to calculate it uh, maybe i'm going to create another function to store the age okay so function store age so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a new array this time function storage so uh, maybe at the time i'm not taking a variable or any sorry any parameters so first what i'm going to do is that i'll do the same like the previous example in the last class so i'll choose some birth year here they could have copied also so fine 2007 2006 2005 or something like that okay now what i'm going to do is that now i need to call uh, the function uh, with the, the this function calculate h with any bar tier so whenever i'm going to call the function with the bar tier what i want is that so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to choose let h okay and h will be calculated here i will do the calculation so i'll call the function calculate h so calculate a h and i'm gonna pass the birth year so i will pass one by one so first i'm gonna pass this uh, birth year uh, zero first element i'm gonna pass it okay so now i'm gonna check if h same thing i'm gonna doing it's age greater than equal to 18 greater than 18 only 18 then what i'm gonna do now here is very important so just a second so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a blank array here let so maybe i'm gonna do let adult so all are who are 18 plus everyone is adult so i'll create a blank array okay i'm not gonna do anything so it's a blank array so if the age is greater than 18 what would happen is that it would return and it will add an element to the array that's what i want so adult dot push and here i want to do the age okay so now a uh, few things i need to do i need to print uh, cons in the console i'll see if the age is calculating the correct one and it should be and here uh, the adult array there's a new array i'm creating so i'm pushing the value of h so first time it would go as 1992 uh, it will do the perform and it will return in the age so it will create a new array and i'm going to return the array so returned uh, adult this is the name of the array so now i'm going to do i will call the function this is okay so i'll need to call the function here so it is the storage function there is no need to give any parameter argument because there is no parameter so i'm going to print it to the console console.log and here i'm going to print the storage store edge okay so here now let's see if i refresh it you see uh, the age is 18 okay so i'm returning both the thing actually so i don't want to return the adult uh, this is just a push function just it will add and i want to see the array so you can see the array it is coming in array from 31 so now you can see i am creating a new array with the help of this push function right okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to copy this it this thing I'm gonna paste it. So I'm gonna pass one. 
this is to this time and that's a help of you know declaring function you are calling we will call the function okay i don't gonna need this age value okay okay so i'm gonna push maybe h1 this time h2 h2 i'm gonna give an h3 okay now uh, different variable i'm storing all the values here now what i'm going to do is that adult dot push age and i can actually push age one comma age two comma age three let's see if that works or not so i'm going to refresh it you can see now it is added like 31 28 16 17. so i've created a new array with the example with the help of calling another function and we pass here the array element how interesting it is and we will do more complex uh, you know example or the exercise in the video of coding exercise video so if you want to do that you can you need to join the channel again with many uh, minimum subscription okay so that is this is it for today guys i think you have cleared the concept of array this is all about array in the next class we would start about looping you would understand another very important thing in looping and we will use loop inside of array and functions and that would be very very interesting okay so if you like the video hit the like button let me know in the comment and also don't forget to share this video with your friends see you in my next video bye bye take care